Nirvana and I'm Rachel and today we're going to be talking about different techniques for dance also some warm-up activities and also some activities you can use in the classroom or out on field trips with the kids if you need a good distraction now why is dancing really important it gets all the children up and moving and involved it's really good for your for theirs and your physical health and mental health um, especially if they've been cooped up in the classroom on a rainy day that's really good to get them up and moving that gives them a bit of energy it's really good for helping children find um, the creative manner of moving their body but also for spatial awareness especially our activity we are going to show you you can use out on out on trips or in the classroom just behind your desk it's good for getting to know everyone in the class and warming up as an activity really good to do before any kind of physical activity um, it can also be used in a cultural sense like you have your haka um, you have different types of dancing like you have celebratory or celebratory but the different like you have line dancing folk dancing ballroom dancing modern dancing tango, tango all sorts of different dance for all different kinds of occasions and different ways of expressing themselves dance is a really good way to wake up the children and get their brains moving especially in the morning because when we were doing dance we were we started doing warm-up exercises to get us awake and into the activity to start off with we're going to show you an exercise you can use with the kids in the classroom especially on rainy days because you can just do it they can just do it behind their desks or maybe you find yourself out and about with the kids on a school trip and there's some kind of interval or they have to wait for something and you need to keep them distracted this is a really good exercise to do why is it really good to get them to start to do a small exercise when you're in the classroom and it's raining um because they'll have a lot of pent up energy and it just releases all of that and gets them the right mindset for learning yep so that will get them in this after doing this especially on a rainy day that it's cooped up inside all day this gets them and a better headset to be learning because they get to move to get them up and just where they are standing because you don't need a lot of room although if you do have the room it's good to have them move around um, just to get them up and moving and all you need is a little bit of music so to start off with what you do is you get the kids to sort of come up as if they were a tree growing or maybe some roots so you would be start on the ground start down and then work your way up using using your space this is a good way for them to learn what they've got to work with what they've got especially if they're behind the desk or stuck in a seat they then see the, how much space they have and learn to use it to their advantage this also helps them stretch and get into moving around their body next you would then use the music to start different moves so you would maybe start off them off by moving and they would copy you so you can get a volunteer child that maybe likes dancing and has some ideas team leader so, or a volunteer yeah mm -hmm. so come up and like lead a group dance or like a bit like Zumba but um this also is really good because this helps with team building skills leadership taking charge you can just get a child who wants to volunteer to do it to do it and then you are giving it over to the children to plan their own exercise so now not only are they exercising in such a small space they are planning their own exercise so a good game you can play with the children is called the mirror game so um, you just grab a partner and you face them it's a nice warm-up game yep and one of you starts doing random movements and the other person has to mirror you and you can go for you can go fast you could go slow you could oh you pretty quick stuff you could have some nice soothing music or maybe you could have some fast music to get the kids really moving so then you can swap partners and this can go on for a wee bit this can be either a warm-up game or you could use it as your dancing exercise for the day or a cool down cool down game after some sports or something maybe the end of the day activity it's always super fun for the kids because they get to make up their routine and then 
obviously other people have to copy, but then when it switches, the other person is so excited to make up their own moves. This again helps with your awareness of space. Um, it's also very relaxing and helps with your mindfulness. So if it's like doing nice slow movements and someone's copying you, it's like therapeutic. Yeah, so you can get them doing the slow, doing it slowly to cool down or to stretch and just do it slowly. So depending on the music you use or give them to go along to. Or you could have a faster beat and have them doing it fast. And so it could be a full exercise activity. These two examples are really good for spatial awareness, um, becoming aware of how your body moves and different movements. Um, but these are also just really good warm up activities for going into a wider lesson, say if you were to teach haka or different kinds of cultural dances, or maybe you are teaching different dances, like um, marching, you could be teaching a special routine for a um, festival or something like that. These are really good games to get the kids thinking about how they move, where they're moving, and just be expressing, aware. yeah, aware, expressing themselves creatively. Dance as one of the arts is very good for a break from like the maths and the reading and the science stuff, but also gets them thinking creatively, which is a whole different mindset that um, is important for them to use. And self-expression. Yeah. And sometimes you could find that they could do a like a lesson in dance or some warm-up activities and then they feel more creative to do the activity at hand because they've had time to stop and think, especially if you're doing a warm-up activity for dance and then you go into dance, they've had time to see how it works, to warm up, to get used to dancing around each other and just feel more comfortable. That's why warm-up exercises are very important for children. Dancing in general is really good for their physical health, their mental health, self-esteem. Self -esteem. It's just, and starting off with something simple like a mirror game or a warm-up exercise really gets them more confident in themselves. This was our warm-up and dance exercise lesson with Rachel and Ivana. Thank you for watching. Bye! Bye.